Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, today I will do a reverse flower dip with the bubble, bubble wrap again. Uh, and in my previous video I did um, when I did the reverse dip I put my napkin down on the plastic and I like what happened there so I prepared one more canvas um, and when I will do a reverse flower dip I will put that on my other canvas I hope that I will not forget to zoom you out for that part and today I will use just black and white because I kind of like black and white paintings and this flower looks really nice in black and white. I will just tilt the axis of my base back to the cup. That's how I get this nice even coat on the canvas and I don't waste paint. Those reverse flower dips are probably the last wasteful technique, fluid art technique, because you really don't waste nothing. It's just, you know, you just have as much paint as you need for your pour. You don't tilt, you don't spin. Yes, you can, but I normally don't. So I will have just pearl white and black and I will measure my middle real quick with the string. Even though that I measure I kind of always go a little off center, I don't know why. Okay, let's put my flower shaped cup down and start pouring over it. So this is my pearl white mixture that it's Vallejo pearl medium mixed with titanium white and my pouring medium and black and pearl white and I will just do that. Uh, you can come to Ireland learn to do this technique and some other and some other ones so if you are in Europe don't miss this out because I don't know when a fluid art event will be in Europe again And now, oh, so let me zoom you out. Okay, hope that you see my canvas there. carefully and it does make a little different shape of the flower than if you use the paper napkin so let's see Maybe it will be just not so nice. I like 
like the ones that I do with my paper napkin. In black and white maybe with this bubble wrap will not be as nice, but we will see. Let's try it up. And put it down on this canvas. Oop. And I went off. center. Okie doke. I didn't press enough here, you see, and I have this kind of weird looking I think I will just do one little spin. And you see, even though that I measured my center, it's not centered. So many factors with that. <coughs> But I like it, so I will torch this one for the air bubbles and then go back to this one. I will just do it like that. Not as cool as I hoped. I just wonder if I try to show you the close-up of both of them. Here is the black and white one. I love it. I wish that it would be more centered, but it is what it is and this is <laughs> What's on the canvas? Uh, I intentionally leave the canvas blank because I want to have these dots, but you see here I... <coughs> uh, because I didn't put it in the middle, maybe it would be better for me to do this one on the bigger canvas and use the smaller one. That's why I would have definitely the dots all around. But it's my first time trying that and kind of like it. Okay. <laughs> so stay tuned for the dry results. <laughs> so here is a close-up. I did some work on that one because I didn't manage to cover 
the whole canvas with this print or echo or something. Um, so I played with it a little bit. Not something that I would like, but I have an idea how I want to do it next time. Maybe do some gradient brush work and then on the bigger canvas and then just print one somewhere. Uh, and I was using just black and white just to try black and pearl white I should say just to try that. Uh, my flower, little flower is not perfect, but this was an experiment to see. And I will definitely try to do more of those. I'm not happy, happy with this blah, 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 around. Um, but it was just not look finished, or how can I say? Um, so, <laughs> I will play with this some more. Uh, I got some ideas already in my comments in my previous video, so you can definitely comment with some idea if you have it. This was the inspiration, the first skin that stayed here, you know, on my plastic. I can peel it off, but not with uh, one hand. Uh, okay, so this was the inspiration. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. Join me on my Sunday live 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will have some fun again when you will choose the technique and colors and I will pour. Okay, see you then. Bye!